Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here, and welcome to Dark Matters. Today I thought I'd discuss the question whether a battery actually stores an electrical charge when you charge it. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Also consider clicking on the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos and new live streams as they happen. Alright, the answer might surprise you. In fact, when you charge a rechargeable battery, it is not actually storing the electricity. So the answer is no. And uh, many people are surprised by this. But the answer lies in the way a battery actually produces electricity. A battery produces electricity through a chemical reaction. And like all chemical reactions, when you put two chemicals together and they start to react, they go along reacting for a certain amount of time and then they kind of change state. Uh, so so uh, they might combine together to create another chemical and when they're done doing that, the reaction is over. Well, batteries go through a chemical reaction too that actually generates an electrical charge. So they're actually producing electricity as opposed to storing it. So when you have a rechargeable battery, when it's fully charged, and it's not actually fully charged, it's just back at its initial kind of chemical state, you might say, uh, it, it's, it's at its full potential. And as it produces the electricity, and as you use the electricity, uh, the chemical reaction changes the state of the battery. And so you kind of can look at it like you might have, say, two chemicals. And these two chemicals react to create electricity. They're in separate states. And as they react, they combine and they change their state into uh, another state. Uh, so they actually change their chemical makeup. So what happens is, is when the battery gets to the end of its charge, or what they call its charge, is the chemical reaction is completed and there's no more chemical reaction to uh, happen. So the battery is kind of spent at that point. What happens when we charge a battery is that chemical reaction is reversed. And so when we're putting electricity back into the battery, it reverses the chemical reaction that happened to create the electricity. So the chemicals that are in the battery go back to their original state. Uh, they they uh, uncombine, you might say. Now, why does a rechargeable battery wear out over time? You might be asking if you can always put electricity back to the battery and then it will go uh, back to the its original state and then it can start all over again. What happens over time is the chemicals in the battery kind of wear out. So they can't go back all the way to their original state. And after a while, it can't generate the full charge that would run your device. And that's why batteries run out eventually. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters. Whatever you do, enjoy technology.